what shutter speed is on a camera. And how fast the lens takes the picture. Yes, do you know what the deal is with that? So I think if it goes faster, you can capture like slow motion picture. All right, so I've been learning that stuff today, yeah? Have you? Oh, last night. Because the thing is, um, sometimes when I take videos, yeah. I don't know, I get a lot of, do you know what rolling shutter is? Rolling shutter is when you're turning the camera, yeah. straight lines start to appear wonky. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting, and, and it feels like it's phasing sometimes, you know that, that phasing yeah. motion? Yeah. So my, my setting was on automatic, do you know the M movie mode? Yeah. So my shutter speed was set to P, which means it tries to figure it out, yeah? Mm. So there's something called S mode, there's A mode, and there's M mode. M mode allows you to configure everything. So it allows you to configure the ISO, allows you to configure the shutter speed, allows you to configure the aperture. Yeah. S mode allows you to configure the shutter speed. Mm. A mode allows you to configure the aperture. So what happens is, all of those three things, mm. they modify the exposure, okay. how bright the scene is. Yeah. The wider the aperture, the more light that gets into the camera, yeah. which means the brighter the scene will be. Okay. Also, the wider the aperture is, yeah. the more of that bokeh effect you get, you know, the background blur. Yeah. It's kind of like, do you know when you squint, you yeah. see everything more focused, because yeah. it's okay. like a, yeah. a, a greater plane yeah. of focus. Okay. Whereas um, when your eyes are open, you get more depth of field. Okay. Next is ISO, yeah? yeah? That one also controls the amount of brightness in the scene, yeah. but it controls how much the image sensor interprets the light coming in. So it's kind of like, you know when you get um, music mm. and it's a really quiet sound, yeah. you can boost the volume, yeah. but you'll get a lot of fuzz with it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you can boost the volume artificially, yeah. Yeah. but you'll get lots of um, artifacts with it. Okay. That's what ISO is. ISO okay. is just volume for the image the sensor. Image. Okay. ISO. So ISO controls also the amount of light but in yeah, a different way. In a different way. Okay. And lastly is shutter speed. Yeah. So if you have a low shutter speed, that means it's um, opening and closing the shutter slowly. slowly. Yeah. Okay. So if it opens and closes it slowly, that means you get more motion blur. So if right. you want to do Lovely the kind of exposure long exposure, long exposure yeah. settings, yeah. You, you get that. It's like a sunlight sunrise. Sunlight. Correct. Yeah. And the less opening and closing you do a second, yeah. the more light is coming in. If you're opening and closing it once yeah. a second, mm -hmm. so most of the time it's going to be open. Whereas if you open and closing twice settings, it's starting to use more time opening and closing. If you open and close it a thousand times. Understood. Okay. Yeah. So the opening and closing affects the sharpness of the image. Okay. So if you open and close it a little, little number of times, yeah. a second, yeah. you're going to get a lot of blur. Yeah. But you're going to get a very bright image yeah. because more of the light is hitting the sensor. Yeah. Whereas if you open and close it several times, mm. you're just going to get more sharp because when you snap, 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 yeah, lots yeah. of snaps. Yeah. But it's going to get more dark up because more time is spent closed than open. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, yeah. So the reason why you got three settings is. Yeah. All three settings are used to control the amount of brightness in the scene. Yep. So the computer figures out the best brightness okay. the scene needs. Yep. So you can do that by controlling three settings. Yep. However, it obviously depends you on your conditions. Those things, but the, you? when you start messing around with the shutter speed, yep. you start getting that phase distortion of things coming in and out of speed. So there's a rule of thumb saying that your shutter speed should always be twice as much as your frames per second. Okay. So for 30 frames a second, it should be 60 shutter mm -hmm. speed. Mm -hmm. So what I've done now is mm. to fix the problem is I've yeah. set the shutter speed to 60 yeah. and I let it auto compute the other settings, the ISO oh, that's clever. and, and just do nice picture, the aperture. But I'll show you how to do it when we get home. Amazing. It's cool, isn't I can't it? wait. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you for teaching me. Mm, I love you, baby. Thank you All so right. much. Have a beautiful, blessed day, inshallah, and I'll see you later. All right. Oh, lay, 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 lay. Take care. Sorry about the lecture. It's nice. <laughs> I was kind of right. I was kind of right in my face. You look beautiful. Alright, so let's... <laughs> Alright, hope you guys found it useful too. That was Lectures in a Car. Peace.